What a what a, here we go again, back with some more mystery case files, Prime Suspects. Alright, we last left off at level 13, Annie Buddy Home, aka Mommy. Her occupation, she's a housewife, suspected master thief. Mm-hmm. What was that movie? Uh, Serial Mom? Anybody ever seen Serial Mom? She wasn't a thief, but, um, yeah, she had some issues. Definitely had some issues. Prior arrest? None. Mother by day and nefarious interloper by night. Many diligent crime inspectors have tried to gather enough clues to arraign this shady lady, but so far she remains a free bird. Can you prove she's the one and only Capital City Shadow? All right, our instructions, find a battery to power our scanner ray, and then take a peek inside the bank vault for clues. Um, why can't they just let me in the vault? I'm, uh, I'm a detective. Why do I got a peek? Use a scanner ray. Hmm? You'll have to search other locations as well if you want to figure out where the suspect was when the Queen's Hope was taken from the museum. Obviously. I don't like your face, lady. Not one bit. All right, let's uh, let's start a dump. Work our way up. All right, let's not work it. Let's 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 start at the uh, at the hat shop. Let's go. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and find uh, three uh, butterflies. There's one. A jellyfish. Gotta find a jellyfish. There's a jellyfish. Um, a decanter. That was that thing. A jack o' lantern. Uh, don't remember. See, there's a jack o' lantern. Uh, spectacles, that's over here on this mannequin head. Mouse bacon bow. There's a bow. Bacon. There's some bacon. It ain't cooked. It's raw bacon. There's another butterfly. And, um... And there's the last butterfly. And now we're looking for a mouse. Alright, it still seems loud. Oh, there's a battery. It still seems loud, but it may just be in my headphones. So I'm gonna turn that down. Cause I did change the <clears throat> excuse me. I did change the levels. Cause I did check the last one. Um the last episode I said I was gonna check. And I did check it and it was a little loud, wasn't too loud. Uh, I don't think. Uh if it was <clears throat> excuse me, if it was in fact too loud. Um let me know in the comments, and I shall rectify the situation. Ah. Uh, but until then, I'm looking for a mouse. There he is. Cool beans, jelly bean. The Aristocrat Hotel. I think I need a battery to go in there too, right? Yeah, because it's dark. Let me go to Rocco's newsstand. I'm going to look for a straw hat and a saddle. Saddles on the bike. Not the bags, but an actual saddle. A hook, dagger, artichoke. Artichokes, artichokes are usually easy to find. And it was. A clothespin, wow, that's gonna be a little difficult. Clothespin, calculator, that was, calculator was up at the top. Nah, that was somewhere else. Yeah, that was somewhere else. Some, yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Um, Loudspeaker was over here. Straw hat, dagger, clothes, clothes, iron. I said clothes, pin, clothes, iron. Hmm. At least it's specified. I'm looking for a clothes iron and not a tire iron or a nine iron or just iron iron or even raw iron, iron ore, so to speak. Is that the calculator? That is a calculator. Clothes iron is proven to be pretty difficult to find too. I've asked the question before, I believe, and never mind. I don't need to ask it. 
Let me know in the comments below if you know what question I was going to ask. I might send you a prize. What kind of prize? Not sure. I'll come up with something, though. I have band merchandise for the band that I'm in. Yeah. I'll send you I'll send you a uh, a bracelet of the, of uh, um, one of those uh, support bracelets. Yeah, I'll send you a dollar support bracelet if you can tell me what question I was about to ask. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll send you that. Straw hat right there. Dagger. Is that a, that doesn't that's not a dagger. That's a like a spade or a a, a trial. No, is that a trial? Is that is that called a trial? Little thing you use to plant flowers. Mm. I do believe it's going to be a little difficult finding a dagger. Keep on my eyes are drawn down here. That's a pistol. Horseshoe. That's like a telescope. Doom, 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 doom. I don't know. Alright, well, come back to it if, if need be. Let's go to... Oh, that's a bank. I need... Oh, did, did I find a battery? I did find a battery. Okay. Um, so we can go to a city dump in the uh, bank. Look in the vault. It just feels criminal. A paper punch. Um, that's a stapler. Gear, two apples, thread, oil can. Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to be the good guy. Why, uh, that, that's an oil can. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to be a good guy. I shouldn't be feeling bad for peeping in places. Especially, like, the bank. Shouldn't I have the city's cooperation? Why do I need to peek in with a invasive device? Hmm? Why? Tell me why. Hmm? You're not gonna tell me, are you? That's fine. I didn't want you to tell me anyway. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me. <laughs> Ooh, I have had this pressure headache all day. It won't go away and I just coughed and you ever had one of those pressure headache like in your forehead and you cough and it feels like your forehead's gonna pop that's what I got going on right now I think it's all this humidity there's a paper punch I like my air dry <laughs> <clears throat> and I got like something in my throat so excuse me if I sound kind of weird I'll try to mute it out I think I've been doing pretty good with the mutant. I, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. Putting it, putting the, uh, putting that hot key on my mouse has made it so much easier. So, so less distracting. If I could say that, that sound wrong. So less distracting. It, it's, it's less distracting to do it. And it, I was at first, I was worried that I was going to do it and like mute myself and forget to turn myself on and talk with the mic muted. Because if y'all have, um, if y'all watched my random Sky, Skyrim play, uh, there was a, a, I played for three hours and 45 minutes with my microphone off. And I was devastated. Devastated, y'all. <laughs> I was distraught. I was upset. Three hours and 45 minutes of playing that I could not use. I trimmed it down into like an eight minute video. Because there was no commentary. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And then, then I thought, you know, maybe I can just... I'm gonna go somewhere else. Uh, then I thought, maybe I can just, you know, play it. And uh, just let it play. And people can enjoy the... You know, some people like watching, watching you play without... Um, without talking. But... I was using my, I was like, I would say something and then react to what I was saying with the character. So I'd be doing these movements and looking at things without the talking and it didn't really make much sense. So I ended up 
cutting three hours and 45 minutes down to 15 or 15 minutes or so. I think it was actually like eight minutes. It was, it was crazy. But I'm not doing that. Pushing the button and not turning my mic back on. So doing pretty good with that. That's the extinguisher. I was just talking way too much. I wasn't really looking for anything. Found a few things, but... Um, we're looking for a high heel shoe, a snake, and a cookie. Pork chops. That's plural. Pork chops. There's a cookie. This is a nasty bank vault, if I can say so myself. It is just straight up, what's wrong with him? Why is there a baby bottle in a chest of cash? Just saying. I can see if this was like a safe deposit box for some weird collector. That'd be one thing. But this is the, this is the Citibank's vault. Like if they did trades with other town, it would come out of here. But then again, all the places that the master detective seem to travel seem to all share the same um, the same like for uh, cluttered rooms. <laughs> all right, this is proving kind of difficult. I need to come up with those pork chops? I guess so. Um, pork chops where I'm from don't look like that. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> Alright, a wristwatch? It's a spark plug. A wristwatch. That's a, like this, a, like it's a parking meter. I still need to find a snake, right? A snake, wristwatch, knife, clover, and a high heel shoe. That's a no heel shoe. Yeah, I really don't. I think it's cool, this whole thing with like the flashlight and this thing. But I, I, I don't like it. I don't like doing them. Man, I'm yawning a lot. I did get up early. I went to bed late and I did get up early. So I wanted to enjoy like my time off. I wanted it and not like be sleep, if that makes sense. Anybody else like that? I wanted to wake up early on my day off so I can enjoy the time being off and not sleep it away. Yeah, work has that kind of grasp on me. It has that kind of effect. It really bums me out sometimes, but yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. I, don't, I haven't seen a snake. I usually find snakes fairly quickly and easily. Unless it's like chilling up on the dragon. Which I didn't see. Oh, there, there he is. Okay, because, yeah, he was all behind something. And a high heel shoe. Aha, it was black. Wristwatch and a knife. I haven't been thinking about knife. So, uh. Wristwatch. That might be a tricky one. There's a knife. Wristwatch and a clover. It's like you can read the word, but if you don't actually visualize the word. You might as well have not read it, because I, I said clover several times, but I didn't think about, you know, looking for a four-leaf clover, shamrock, or even, you know, the club that's on a card, because that can be considered a clover sometimes. But I just read it and wasn't really looking at it. If y'all noticed, I clicked on that a while ago, because I was thinking clove, not clover, because I read the word but didn't visualize it. So I need to visualize a clover and a wristwatch. And it is very hot in here. It's kind of taken away from the experience. I don't want to turn the fan on because then um, that might be all you hear. 
Viserys watch. Clever, clever, clever placement. Alright, the clover can stay. Let's, uh, let's go to the city dump. Is this a city dump? Yeah, okay. Thought it was, uh, <clears throat> what's his name? The failed superhero guy? Uh, two orange slices. I'd like an orange. I'm gonna have my wife pick up some oranges next time she goes to the store. Cause I do enjoy eating oranges. Um, la cucaracha? Lizards. Hmm. A dime. I feel like I saw a dime. Yeah, I did. Um, a wallet. A spaceman. Is that a spaceman or a diver? I guess that was a spaceman. He looked like a diver. He had a little tube. Uh, La Cucaracha. It looked like a. There's a tube coming out. Well, I guess spacemen have tubes coming out of their heads. Two dominoes. I definitely saw dominoes. Oh, that was a die. Or was it down here? There's a wallet. There, there's a domino. A mouse domino and two lizards. There's a lizard. There's the other domino. Mouse and a lizard. I do. I would like to take this time. There's your mouse. I like to take this time to express some appreciation to the, well, to everyone on, in any, on any uh, game developer team or game development team. Um, I know it takes a lot. Um, I tried getting into it, but being you know the whole jack of all trades, I can't really stick to one thing long enough. Well, I can, but it becomes daunting. So, in efforts to enjoy games, I left that industry alone. But anyway, back. I'm, I would like to show some gratitude and appreciation to to the whole team. But in in general, the guys who and girls, the guys and girls who come up with these, who draw these out, because I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Um, and it, and then taking the effort to hide things in certain places, knowing what fits where, to kind of guess where people would look, to guess people's perspectives. That's a hard thing to do. Um, I'm a profiler, and um, that that takes that takes a certain amount of open-mindedness to see things from different perspectives so i like just take some time to give props to the people who make these games and um i feel bad because i don't know the author's name but the author who wrote the series of these uh the books of uh, mr that these games are based off of because um it's very interesting and i have enjoyed this a lot over the past oh wow what 12 years? Cheers, mate. 12 years. Good lord. Good job. I've enjoyed it. Uh, however, I can't find a second lizard. Sitting there rambling at the mouth. Not finding lizards. Do, 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 do. Alright. <laughs> Let's go to Abe's Hot Dogs. Or, I'm sorry, red hats. Uh, we need a hornet's nest. It's down here. A pair of scissors. A protractor. Protractor's there. Uh, a pair of scissors there. A music bass. You know where that is if you saw that episode. I think it was like the first episode. Uh, a swordfish. A pocket watch. That's not a pocket watch, that's a wrist watch. That's a pocket watch. Though it looks like a stopwatch, but they they look like that. Crowbar and a violin. Crowbar. Hmm. There it is. Good old legs. Alright. 
We haven't been here before. Where is this? This is the conservatory. Oh, do, 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 do. All right. We want a poisonous frog, a cherub, opera glasses, dog, banana gloves, toy bear, and a purse. All right. Poisonous frog. What does a poisonous frog look like? I'm not that uh, educated in frogs, but I'm gonna go with that guy. He looks poisonous. Uh, it seemed kind of judgmental, but you know, you gotta be able, you gotta be a good judge of character if you want to survive in this world. Because without having good judgment, you can't make good decisions. Now condemning people, eh, there's a fine line to tread on. Anyway, cherub and opera glasses and a dog. I've seen a dog. Is that a dog? Opera glasses. I'm not the cherub. Ooh, this place is tricky. There's a cherub. I thought the opera glasses would be kind of easy to find, too. Got that layer thing. Need to get that layer thing going on. That's a scroll. Hmm. Opera glasses. Do, 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 do. That was the last one. Sorry. Um. And a banana. There's a banana. Is it gonna be like a silly little stencil cut out of a dog? Is that a saxophone? That is a saxophone. Or is it? Or is this? Yeah. Um. Dog gloves. Toy bear. That's the toy bear. Purse gloves. I haven't really looked for gloves. Gloves. Hmm. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one indeed. Gloves, dog, opera glasses. Come on. Oh wow, this is taking me a little, a little longer than usual. I'm missing something. That's, that's a compass, I believe. That's another compass. That's a slug. It looks like an eyeball, a monkey. I need gloves, opera glasses. Is that a shark? That's a shark. It got me, y'all. I've been doing so good. Okay, there's the gloves. Alright. Purse, dog. I can't believe I haven't found a dog. I like dogs. I'm a dog person. Yeah, I have like a tail. Like ears and a snoot. Alright, it could be a picture. Oh! <laughs> I saw you back there. So dope. Yes, I know what I just said. Because it looked like both, so I said both. Get out my face. <laughs> See if you can tell what kind of head motion I was making with that sound. <laughs> um, opera glasses, that's bothering me too. Why haven't I been able to find those? Oh, that's an English horn. I hope that wasn't loud. I like just grab my lip. My mouth is real juicy. All right, I'm gonna let's go back to the city dump and find the last lizard. Right there. That wasn't so bad. Go to the aristocrat hotel. 
Oh, we got clues. Or hints. What is that part? Oh, that was a thread. I'll have to hate with it. Let's go ahead. There's a key. Let's go. Oh, look. I wanted to click on that. I should have went ahead and did it. Ah, man, they're all folded up. I went, man. So I was looking for binoculars on a stick. That's what I. That's what I looked for. What's she doing? The Mission Impossible. Let's see. Where's her head go? Where's her head go? There it is. Making weird faces. This is that, uh... Oh, that goes over here. Baby bottle and the cash was over there. The, uh... Cash with the avocado is over here. It's an avocado! Thanks! Fat sacks of cash. I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, up there. Uh, yeah. Okay. And where's this red stick? <laughs> I'm looking at the picture over here, looking for. Ah, oh, that's a rope. Gotcha. It's a big old rope, not inconspicuous at all. It's gotta be like her legs or something. Her elbow. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Alright. Oh, that's that wheel. She was innocent of taking the Hope Diamond, or Jim, or whatever the hey it was, but she was stealing from the gross vault. So, we still did what other detectives couldn't do, and caught her. So, looks like she was innocent, and our search for two more prime suspects are still on. Next time, we'll be uh, investigating James Michael, a.k.a. Jimmy Glitter. Until then, deuces, gooses. <laughs>